welcome to another episode of Life in General. I'm Cass. Pinky Doo. How you doing? No, Pinky Doo. <laughs> Pinky got a do. Dude, you'd think for nearly 30 that I wouldn't break out in zits anymore. The teenage acne. You'd also think at nearly 30 that uh, the titty fairy would have hit me by now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I told you about the tattoo my husband wants me to get, right? No. Yeah, he wants me to have a special line drawn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's going to call it the finish line. Because as soon as them girls reach that finish line, I'm finished. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what are the... Uh, what are like, woo, NASCAR. I don't know. What do you think the possibilities are of you reaching the finish line? I don't know. I don't know. It all depends. It all depends. My chance is like zero. Must be nice. I would be lucky that if at the age of 50, I'd even have, like, any sort of saggage. Yeah, me not so much. <laughs> not so much. But I'm going to fix that. I know. I'm trying to, I, you know, we've discussed that. It's called too. implants, baby. I'm sure we can all agree that I need some. Uh, uh. I yeah, we're going to suck the like, fat off my ass and stick it in her chest. Dude, do you know how long I've been saying that that's what kind of surgery, like boob surgery should be, is like you take the fat off my butt and then put <laughs> it in my boobs? It's the same gene. My body won't reject it, right? You know? So, like, why can't we just do that? You know, and boobs are fatty tissue, so texture would be cool. I know. Yeah, I don't know. All around win-win situation right there. I was told that just wouldn't work. No. No. I do have a question, though. For everybody, why do they make padded bras for women with double G chests? Just putting it out there. Well, why do they make padded bras for women who don't have any boobies? Like me, for example. If I buy a padded bra, then there's nothing to push up. <laughs> so I get a padded bra and that? I get Renaissance boobs. It's like Doosh! under the chin going doop. <laughs> when I run, I have to be like, shield my eyes, shield my eyes. I don't run like a normal person. I'm like, ah, ah. Or like, they're coming at me at all sides. Or like, okay, so then I remember I remember the day they came out with water bras. I think Victoria's Secret was like the first yeah. one to come out I with water I bought one for bras. my mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hey, love you. Here's some titties. Yeah, I know. She loved it, and I was like, dude, I found one. And I'm like, here, Mom, I bought you a water bra. Now you can have bouncing Buddhas. <laughs> what it? Are boobs really supposed to move? I see people doing, you know. They don't. They, 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 don't they, they, like just, they just come. Like, they move They're in like unison. They're like waves. They're like waves. It's in unison. You know, I mean, coming from a girl who doesn't even have boobs, I still recognize that the tissue moves in one piece. Mm, pretty much. Yeah. And for those women who spin the freaking little pasties, oh, the, 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 the that the tassels. is talent. That is And then talent, they go like this. Friend. And then boom. And then. I'm not going to say I ever tried that. Do you play with your boobs? Um, <laughs> <he's the fifth. laughs> They're fine. I would say I would look in the mirror from time to time and see what capabilities I might have. But luckily, my husband's a boob or a butt guy. My husband's a boob guy. That's why you're married to him and I'm married to mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I'm a more like drop it like it's hot girl, and she's a put them on the glass, put them on the glass kind of girl. <laughs> Titty shampoo. Dude, that's going to start an earthquake. I know. <laughs> Stop. That's just pretty funny. Sometimes that hurts, man. For real. Really? Hells yeah. Just moving them like that on your own? Oh, you just sit there and move the fun bags? Like, brr, 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 brr. Yeah. Yeah, the bouncing Buddhas don't like it when you shake them too hard. They hurt. And when they're clapping, it what is about not because they're happy. <laughs> so, like, what about when, like, the hubby, like, motorboats the chesticles? How does that work? Does that hurt? Or it's it... just kind of like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> she dropped the F-bomb. Somebody call the FCC. Ah! I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, this is awesome. He's like, I'm going to suffocate and die and breathe. 
I wonder how many how many people. I won't just seclude it to men, but I wonder yeah. how many people like dream of, of death by titties. Death <laughs> by titties. <laughs> you know, like know. like like your big... answer our question. The question for today is: Do you want to have death by titties? But it's like you know, do they sit there and like just hope that one night, like. Their chick's jello molds just like flop over them in the middle of the night as she rolls over know. and just suffocates them. <laughs> I don't know. Just going. <laughs> oh. is, is it like dying in pleasure? I, I don't know. I really, really don't know. I wonder if that. Well, because, okay, attribute it to like this. You know how, remember the lead singer of In Excess when he died? He died of his asphyxiation right. while he was pleasuring himself. Right. Yeah. The belt around his neck hung to like a fan or something, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> and so you would think that by dying by asphyxiation in pleasure would mm. would feel good. So I guess if you were smothered by, you know, big titty hose that, you know, it would mm-hmm. it would be pleasurable. But I, I guess know. that would only be if you were awake. Because then you would know that it was just yeah. smothering you. Because if not, you'd be like, what the hell's going on? What's going on? Get these things off me. They're everywhere. Coming at me at all sides. Oh. <laughs> Just these big... <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I honestly, I, I have no clue. I, w- I would have no idea what any of that is like. Um, It sucks sometimes. Other times it's a lot of fun. Other times it's kind of like, look at me, look at me. And then other times it's like, don't look at me, don't look at me. Well, I'm going to say that it's fun not being a big... Hooters kind of girl. Well, because I don't have to wear a bra if I don't want that to. That is freaking fabulous. I However, wish I didn't have to wear a bra because if I don't wear a bra, I need to carry around a wheelbarrow. Be like, come on, girls, <laughs> let's go. It's kabunk. Everybody knows I'm braless today. <laughs> Woo! Got out the red wheelbarrow. Let's go. But you know, the downside of not having to wear a bra is the fact that I have to wear a bra if I want any sort of female shape. Mm. And Yes, I will admit that I have The to downside do that. of not wearing a bra is I have to tuck them in my belt. <laughs> oh, my God. The upside of wearing a bra is uh, not having to tuck them in my belt. So instead, they just lie at the belly yeah, button. They just, they just they lie at the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was a quick little talk on boobies. Boobies. Have fun with that one, ladies. Yeah. Ciao. Peace.